Castle. Back his way in. Spins on Gallinari. Gives it up. Oh, he's right there. And a foul. Hey, Joel, what was the moment for you personally tonight where your, be your belief in what uh, you had in terms of this being the Sixers year turned to the recognition that, that it just wasn't going to happen? Um, but I thought the turning point was just, you know, we had a... Uh, an open shot and you know we miss uh, we made one free throw and uh, we missed the other and then they came down and scored so as you all probably know by now ben simmons wants out of philly he has no intentions on showing up to training camp he has no plans on working things out with the organization he wants to head to california but even if that doesn't pan out he just doesn't want to be in philly anymore plain and simple there were a lot of rumors floating around, some even saying that the 76ers had to choose between Ben Simmons or Joel Embiid because the two had a rift that could not be repaired. But then Joel Embiid finally responded. He said, Sources, trust me bro, stop using my name to push people's agenda. I love and hate drama. I love playing with Ben. Stats don't lie. He's an amazing player and we didn't get the job done. It's on me personally. I hope everyone is back because we know we're good enough to win. Embiid also related this back to when fans and media were talking trash about him. He said, I haven't forgotten, but two years ago, I got booed. People in Philly wanted me to be traded. I even shushed them. Only the real ones didn't, but I just put in the work that offseason to be better because I knew I wasn't playing to my full potential. Philly fans, y'all also gotta be better. Now this last tweet is the most controversial. He said, for clarity, I love the criticism. I love when I'm told I can't do something. It makes me work harder to prove everyone wrong, but not everyone is built like that. So this tweet had some mixed reactions. Some thought that he was actually taking a shot at Ben Simmons by saying, not everyone is built like me. I use the hate to fuel me. You don't. You want to leave. I didn't leave. But others were saying that Embiid was just taking an honest approach on the difference between the two of them. But either way, I don't think this is going to change the fact that Ben Simmons does not want to be in Philly anymore. He got booed by his own fans, torn apart by the media. His own coach didn't even know what to say. He passed up an open dunk. He's missing free throws. He's not even taking shots in the fourth quarter. This, this relationship is broken. But a trade for Ben Simmons isn't going to be easy to find. The 76ers are going to want a max return for him, and other teams don't really know what to offer for him. And that's because, as good of a player as Ben Simmons is, it's about making the playoffs, going far into the postseason, and eventually winning a championship. And what do you give for a guy that's great in the regular season, but come playoff time, can't even get you any points in the fourth quarter, or even attempt a shot? Fit-wise, the only thing that makes a little bit of sense right now would be the Golden State Warriors because he'd be surrounded by shooters like Steph Curry and Klay Thompson and they could use his defense. But if you're Golden State, what do you even give up for Ben Simmons? Maybe Wiggins, Wiseman, a pick or two? I don't know. But let me know in the comments where you think Ben Simmons will end up and where do you think he fits best. Also, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like on it as it really helps out the channel. And don't forget to subscribe for more NBA content just like this. And I will see you in the next upload.